In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void until he bought a construct a planet kit from the cosmic all mark. Then God decided to create colorful, sticky things of indeterminate biological status. God realized people didn't very much like feeling sticky things in the dark, so he created mass confusion so people couldn't tell the difference between sticky things and soft things that are pleasurable to touch. Who are these people? Jack! Then God decided he did everything in the wrong order and created a parallel universe to try again. This is that universe. Fiat Lux. Jesus Christ, at this hour? Uh, what could possibly be so pressing? I have a paint, and I need to go to the art depot to get some burnt ochre and aubergine. I need to finish my torchlight canvas dervis structure, and I can't do it without the discretionary funds, and there's no system set up for these discretionary funds, and I, as an artist, for one, feel we don't have the basic needed structure in place. <laughs> all cleaned up and the shower is clogged with oil paints again I'd like to welcome the newest member of the art house family Lily hello I'm sorry I've forgotten all your names again I'm Walter remember it's the transcendental unity of apperception guy river of want is the phantom limb pain of self I went Wonka flipping with Mark Wahlberg you mean candy flipping? No, Wonka flipping. It's when you mix LSD and mumbo berries. Mumbo berries? I'm Donnie. Hi. Val. Frida, and I, for one, am thrilled you're here. Another sister in the fight against injustice. And another vote for a new toilet seat. How did you get here anyway? Okay, so you're moving to the art house tonight, right? never lived in an art house before. This is such a good idea. I'm so excited. Oh, Nanyan, you take me on so many adventures. And it should be good. We should be able to save a lot of money. It's gonna be great. But please, 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 seriously, do not forget to bring my guitar tonight. No problem. excited to meet everyone. Oh, you let your hair down. You never have your hair down. Yeah, it looks yeah. so good. Um, thanks for the guitar. Oh, yeah. Um, and the thing is, I gotta go get cigarettes from the store, so I'm not gonna, I gotta actually go, so. Okay. Um, thanks. You never smoke cigarettes. We still have the note that Jack left us. Should I read it? Yeah, read it. No, I don't know. No, guys. I want you to know it's not me, it's you. You're too damn clingy. Plus, you call me Nyan Nyan. WTF is up with that. I thought life was calling me to settle, but I realized that I can't be tied down like this. I love you, baby. <laughs> but don't look for me. The people here are all right, except for Frida. She's a bitch. What a condescending patriarchal <laughs> fuckwad! But your ex is definitely not going to be successful in life. <laughs> and Yan Yan's a stupid nickname, too. It's my ringtone. <laughs> He needs to proactively seek to expand his empowerment diversity synergy and how it impacts his independence and realize that interdependence is key. Your ex is stuck in a win-lose mindset. Relationships should be win-win. Wittgenstein would play all over the jungle gym of that language game. Donnie, there are no winners or losers in human interaction. <laughs> that makes sense. Now get off, guys. <laughs> Look at her! Is that hug awkward?
hug yet? Cream. So I've decided to start a video blog. Boyfriend, if you're out there, fuck you. You held my heart in your hand and you crushed it. Like, like what are those leaflets that the wackos hand out when they're trying to convert you? look for you as if I'd ever want to see you again. But Tony told me to think more positively. So I will. I really like the people at the art house. Al wants to paint my feet. But I like hanging out with Frida. She wants to take me gardening tomorrow. These are the stories of the favored children of a drunken god. He gives them sporadic celestial armfuls of intoxicated hugs, and although he's too hungover to give them lunch money in the morning and too drunk to rock them to sleep at night, if we could see through the pellucid veil of his dreaming eyelids, we would see their true beauty.